we're all tired of it. It's got to be gone. So today's development in the form of that letter coming as a big disappointment to neighbors in that area who were hoping the camp would be cleared out soon. They, of course, have been living with increased crime, noise and mess for months, but we wanted to dig even deeper. So we asked, what is it really like living near Camp Hope? I spoke with one woman who doesn't want to be identified, frankly, because she says she worries about retaliation. But she tells me the homeless crisis in Spokane is becoming a crisis for her neighborhood. Early in the morning, it is pretty disgusting when the RVs go around the block before daylight and have the valve to their sewer open to let all that sewage out as they drive around the block. This woman lives less than a block away from what is now known as Camp Hope. She says from the day she moved in less than a year ago, she's had problems. First week I was there, I got batteries stolen off of my vehicles. Everything's getting broken into. But she says nothing is worse than the raw human waste that gets dumped in the streets or sometimes even in front yards. I had an RV parked alongside my house. They just open up the valves. They let it go anywhere. How often does that happen? Uh, it's, it's happening on like two to three times a week wow. or more. But then the city has to come out and clean and then and spray the streets down with bleach. It's pretty disgusting. I've had people that'll just puke all over my lawn or my yard and they don't care and I've reported it and it doesn't do a damn bit of good. She says police do regularly patrol the area and officers have told her to report problems as often as it takes, but she tells me nothing has changed. In fact, she says it's getting worse. The city officers babysitting from 7 a.m to 7 p.m. is not enough because the minute that those officers leave at 7 p.m., it is fire pits, loud music, partying, a lot of traffic. Every little bit of nuisance that can go on does go on. And she says it's time for the city and the state to do more. I'm tired of being treated like I'm remedial or I'm a nuisance because I call so much because there's so much going on. I don't like that. I'm not going to keep doing it. I think that those people just need to move on.